Hey guys, so spring always seems to be the time of year where everybody is inspired to host a brunch. So chances are you might get invited to one or you might be hosting one of your own. And if you are and you need to whip up a coffee cake, I have got just the thing for you. It's my cinnamon crumb coffee cake. I love this recipe because it's so easy to put together. It travels well if you have to bring it to somebody's house and it gives you one more reason to use your spring form pan when you're not making cheesecakes. Let me show you how to put it together. First thing we're gonna do is cream together a half a cup of butter and one cup of sugar. You wanna beat that up until it's nice and fluffy. And then you are going to add two eggs, one at a time, scraping down the bowl between each addition. And then you're gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla. Give that a beat and then set it aside. Then in a separate bowl, we're gonna to mix together our dry ingredients. We're gonna take two and one third cups of flour two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and just whisk that up, and then you can set that aside. Now you wanna measure out one and one third cups of sour cream. Now when it comes to this cake, I really am a big fan of using the full fat sour cream. That is really what is going to help this cake retain its moisture and become so delicious. To combine our batter, we're going to take our flour mixture, add about a third, give it a beat, and then alternate it with a little bit of the sour cream. Give it a beat. Then just repeat this process until all of your flour and sour cream has been combined. And then you will see you'll have a very sticky batter on your hands. That's exactly what you want. Then we're gonna prepare a springform pan. Now, if you're not familiar with a springform pan, they're typically used to make cheesecakes. And what it is, is it has a removable bottom to it and then a spring that actually locks it into place. They're great for making cheesecakes, but they're even better for making coffee cakes because they really create a very elegant looking cake. So we're gonna give it a light dusting with some baking spray. Then we're gonna add half of our batter. Now because this batter is sticky, you will need either a spatula or a spoon just to smooth out your batter all along the bottom. Then in a small bowl, we're going to create our cinnamon sugar filling. So you're just gonna take a tablespoon of white sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, give it a whisk, and then you're also gonna have on hand a cup of chopped pecans. Now, if you don't like nuts or if people are allergic, you certainly could leave the nuts out, but if you do like nuts, the pecans are a great thing to add. You're gonna take your cinnamon sugar and sprinkle it all over the top of the batter. Now, don't be concerned if it looks like a lot. When the cake bakes, the cinnamon will actually bake in and it won't be as much as what it looks like now. And then you're gonna add your chopped pecans on top, then we're gonna cover this layer with our remaining batter. And because this batter is sticky, it's a little hard to spread sometimes, but this is what I do. I just take it in spoonfuls and just kind of dollop it all the way around and then take a spatula and connect your dots and then smooth the layer on top. And then as it bakes, it will actually all fill in in the rest. So don't worry if you don't get it perfect. Then we're gonna to put together our crumb topping. So in a bowl, you're gonna add a half a cup of flour, two tablespoons of white sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and five tablespoons of melted butter. Stir that all up with a fork and you'll see some beautiful crumbs will develop. At that stage, you're gonna add a half a cup more of chopped pecans, give it a stir, and then your crumble is ready. So we're gonna take this crumble and we're gonna sprinkle it all over the top of our cake. And now it's ready for the oven. So you're gonna pop it in a 350 degree oven for one hour. I know, it sounds like a long time, but remember, <laughs> this spring form pan is pretty deep, so it takes a bit of time to make sure that that cake is cooked all the way through. What you can do is if you find that your cake is getting a little too browned on top, you can put some aluminum foil on top, and that way the cake will cook on the inside without getting too browned on the outside. Once it's cool, you can release it from the pan and give it a dusting with some powdered sugar. Then I like to place it on a cake stand and serve it with a hot cup of coffee. And you will see, you will have one elegant looking coffee cake that is so delicious. When you cut into it, you'll see you'll have that beautiful ribbon of cinnamon and sugar and chopped pecans with that delicious crumble on top. It is a real winner in my book. If you've never made your own coffee cake before and you're always used to buying it in a store, you must promise me that you will give this recipe a try. You will be a changed person. You will never want to buy it in the store ever again. All right, you guys, I hope you give this one a try and let me know what you think. And I will see you back here next week. Bye.
Let's make it.